Beyond the Bow. Brought to you by Carpet Tech. A barber in Midland is currently cutting hair wherever and whenever he can. However, he is also accepting a unique method of payment. Does it require cash or even your credit card? But it's something that he believes is more powerful. News West Nights Jason Freund got to talk with him and also sit in during one of his haircuts. These are the sounds you hear at every barbershop. But this one is a little different. There's something more going on inside Premier Mobile Barbershop. Customers are treated to gospel music as they get a cut. It's part of the experience David Lopez gives his clients at his barbershop. Customers leave looking better on the outside, and there's something a little different on the inside, too. What I do here is I make people feel, feel good about themselves, uh, about their identity, self-identity. You know, basically, you know, I just, I clean them up. I feel good about themselves and, you know, man, just kind of help them take care of things that they can do, you know? That makes Lopez prepare even harder for his next client. And while he does accept payment yes, in cash, he also yes. accepts payment in prayer. You know, I was raised that, uh, you know, to, to believe in prayer, you know, since I was little. I've seen prayer work. I've seen prayer move. And, you know, I guess it just depends what you value. Some people value money. Some people value, you know, different things and put their faith in things uh, of this world. I just, bottom line, I just, I have more faith in prayer than I do in money. His faith helps him spread a message and inspire others in a big way. Knowing that God is real, uh, he's hearing my brothers and sisters speak up on my behalf, and he's seeing that, you know, I'm kind of doing his work and, and showing the power of prayer and the value of prayer. And so I'm, I'm, I'm pleasing the Father, and at the same time, I'm kind of sparking the faith. He has seen it work with his own eyes, recalling one appointment with a lasting impression. And I can tell that he has not much experience in prayer, and to see him pray out loud, you know, I could tell it's not something that he did on a regular basis, and it was like a first for him but it was a, a, a jump in faith. And so just knowing that I got him started in that direction uh, makes me feel like, you know, I did, I did God's work a little bit. For now, however, Lopez has no intention of stopping what he is doing for the foreseeable future. Thinking about doing it every Sunday until Christmas, um, you know, but I will be accepting it up until uh, Wednesdays for sure. And honestly, just if, if you know, somebody comes in and I can tell that they're in need, I'll, I'll accept prayer no matter what day it is. Such an awesome story. And if you are interested in getting your haircut from Lopez, you can give him a call. His number is on your screen. That's 557-8498.